So the day is the 27th of eight. Yeah, 27th of April. Sorry about that. 27th of April. And we're going to go watch Tottenham versus Manchester United. And not only are we going to go watch Tottenham United, we're going to go to the hospitality suite. We're going to get the full works, okay? It is expensive. These tickets were very expensive. So it's going to be really interesting to see what the hospitality is like, what the Spurs experience is like, what the stadium's like, and all that jazz. So it's all to come. So in terms of Tottenham, right, you've had Conte, and then you had Stellini, and now tonight you're going to have Mason. <laughs> that club is a clown car type club, right? I mean, my friend tonight that I'm going to go with is a United fan. I'm going to sort of act as a Tottenham fan tonight, even though I'm a Bolton fan. I, I just want to balance it out, right? So for 16 months, you had Conte, and then there was a sort of a game of chicken between Conte and Levy about getting sacked, and because if he sacked him, he had to pay him off. So he was just trying to eke out the rest of the season. And then he did actually sack him. So after Conte, then you got this guy in Stellini, who was the assistant to Conte. And uh, I think it was his first game in charge. He went 5-0 down in the first 20 minutes against Newcastle, then lost the game 6-1. Um, now you've got Ryan Mason back. Where has Ryan Mason been for like 18 months? Has he been in a cupboard? Have they sort of put him on, is he like on permanent standby? Is that the contract he has with Levy? So tonight, Tottenham against United, you're going to have... Ryan Mason, his second term as manager, first game in charge against Manchester United. Manchester United are pushing for third. Tottenham, who knows if they can even get fourth. I mean, who knows if they get top six at this rate. So the itinerary is that I'm going to meet my friend at Shoreditch House and then we're going to have a drink there and then we're going to get a taxi up to Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Um, I could walk to Shoreditch House it takes me about 20 minutes to walk, but it's raining. So I'm gonna get a taxi for in, in place of a 20 minute walk. And the taxi is taking ages. So I might as well have just walked. I did have an umbrella, but I, I lost it. So I can't use an umbrella anymore. I have to just get piss wet through wherever I go. And I know I look a little bit of a mess. My beard's all scraggly and shit, but lads, it's Tottenham. We're going Mercedes Benz E Class. Let's do it. We're not even. I'm not even halfway done. Let's go. <laughs> Give it a few years. That, that could get serious. Oh. You guys got. So we were in the taxi, but we we're both absolutely bursting for a piss, and the traffic's terrible. So we had to come out and go for a piss in the bookies, and now we're getting the train. So we've gone from exec to just getting in the overground. So we're getting here the real Spurs experience. <laughs> oh, here's the stadium. <laughs> In front of the Tottenham Stadium. Alright, I'll take a picture of the stadium. There you go. Last time I was here was as a Bolton fan. Oh, at least 10 years ago. So before the old stadium. Before the new stadium, I should say. They've got a McDonald's sign on them. You see that? The M. <laughs> so apparently now, since the new stadium, Tottenham have the most expensive season tickets in the country. I don't know if they beat Arsenal, I'm not sure. I know it was always Arsenal for many years. But I think now Tottenham beat that. But so far the experience has been quite good. I mean, we're not in the stadium yet, but pretty good so far. A lot of atmosphere.
So United just scored early doors. Let's hope he let's, let's hope we don't get too messy. That is now two and United. So queuing now for a pint and a half time. Two and United. It's not looking good for Tottenham. Seems like feels like damage limitation. Um, this game and probably the rest of the season. The seats though, absolutely fantastic. I mean the seats are brilliant. Um, and the toilets are the best toilets I've ever seen in a stadium. Maybe because we're in like the, the, the ritzy, slit, ritzy seats, you know, the, we're with the glitz and glamour. But seriously, the toilets are amazing. So if you want to come to the stadium, if you want to come to the toilet bowl, come see the toilets.
Jones. Son's got it. That's ten minutes. Thing I mean, that's terrible. Like, poor heart. It's like they switched places. All time cookies. This is why we came. <laughs> <laughs> 